Hi, I'm Dan. That's Kat. We're from House of Wine, and we're here to talk to you about some French wines that hopefully you're going to be able to enjoy yourself. Kat, why don't you tell us a little about this one? Sure. This is our Chinon from the Loire Valley. This is from our For the Love of the Loire six-pack set for House of Wine for May 2020. And this producer, um, it's Domaine de Pellas, and Bertrand Sudai is the producer. He's the winemaker. He has a long storied history of producing wine at some um, wonderful places like Alvaro Palacios. Um, that producer is one that I really enjoy and is in our Spain set for the month. Yeah. Um, he's also made wine at Mouton Rothschild in Bordeaux and Santa Rita in Chile. So he's made wine around the world came back to his family's property and decided to make some wine. So this is 100% Cabernet Franc, um, and it is a really yummy wine. Tell us a little bit about how this wine is made. Sure. So they harvest the grapes, and they go ahead and they crush them, and they let them sit on the skins because all the color and the tannin and a lot of the flavor is in the skins of the grapes, the red grapes. So they go ahead and they do that. And in this case, they actually leave it on the skins for quite a while. They do what we call extended maceration. So rather than they, they keep the wine in contact with the skins past the end of fermentation. So in this case, about 25 to 35 days. So extra time on the skins just to get more tannin, more color, even more flavor. It also helps knit some of those tannins so they're not so bitter and drying. Makes them a little softer, okay? Mm -hmm. And then they age them in barrels. They age them for 18 months in secondary use barrels. So it uh, has less oak flavor than if it was a new barrel, but still quite a bit of oak character. And they try and minimize handling and they do later bottling and really are just trying to do it, keep a gentle hand on the wine. Excellent. Let's smell the wine. Sure. What do you think it smells like, Dan? Red wine. What do you think it smells like, Kat? <laughs> I do think it smells like red wine, but it's different than the Anjou Rouge that we had that had more of the white pepper note um, and was um, more red fruit notes. This is darker fruit, mm -hmm. so definitely more in that blue fruit category and riper red fruit. Um, I would say riper raspberry sorts of notes. Excellent. Let's try it. There's also an interesting, you can go ahead and taste, but there's also an interesting... Um, kind of an herbal and um, an animal note to it. It's mm. pretty complex. I like it. What do you think it tastes like? Um, this tastes like love in a bottle. Oh, that's not sweet. <laughs> no, this is, I love Chinon um, and I like Cabernet Franc, but what I like about it is this has bright acidity, but it's not a tart, mm -hmm. right? It has just a little lift, but this wine is really well built. Um, it's got medium plus body. Um, it has, you know, alcohol there, but it's not overly alcoholic. I think it's 13%, so moderate. It's all very well in balance and enough complexity and a kind of a silky finish. I know some French wines have that spoil and cheese pretenomyces that make it taste a certain sort of old school style. Does this have any of that, do you think? Um, I don't taste that personally myself, um, and I do sometimes get that in French wines. Um, some French wines and some wines from around the world, but I don't I don't get that in this wine. To me, it's just um, I think more of the nature of the property. You're getting a little bit of the terroir of the site. Excellent. When would you drink this, or what would you pair it with? This would pair well with a variety of foods because it does have the bright acidity, but um, it doesn't have so much acid that it would be tart. Mm. So this to me is more would go really well with a protein, um, something like oh I don't know a a braised meat dish or oh. something like that. Um, something that doesn't have a ton of fat to it because it is still a lighter styled wine. It has a lot of flavor, but it's not big and bold and beefy per se. And charcuterie would be wonderful with this for sure. And um, of course, some nice hard cheeses like Parmesan and things like that. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.